In this video we are going to design a drill string. In a drilling operation at a depth of 6000 feet, weight on bit is 50,000 pounds and the bit size is 8.5. The bottom hole assembly is made of the drill color with the OD of 8 inch and the ID of 3 inch. The linear weight of the drill color is 147 pounds per feet and the linear weight of the drill pipe is 20 pounds per feet with the OD of the 5 and the ID of 4.2 and the mud weight is 12 ppg the first part of the question is asking us to find the length of the drill color when the hydrostatic pressure does and does not contribute in the buckling and consider the safety factor of 0.9 for the case where the hydrostatic pressure doesn't contribute in the buckling we have the equations which will be provided in the exam and you just need to know that the FB is the weight on bit which is 50,000 the row F is 12 and the omega of the drill color is the linear weight of the drill color 147 then we can find the length of the drill color but because this method is underestimating the weight the length of the drill color we have to apply the safety factor as the safety factor over here is uh, 0.9 we just need to divide it by 0.9 and it will increase this safety factor should increase the length of the drill color Therefore, if the safety factor it was 1.2 or 1.3, we should multiply the value that we have at, in that uh, 1.2 or 1.3 to increase the value. Take note about that. The second method when the hydrostatic pressure doesn't contribute in the buckling equation will be provided. FB is 50,000, omega is the drill color, linear weight, omega of the drill color, 147. Row F is 12, the D is depth, which is 6000, row S is 65.5, and then we can find the length of the drill color. The next part is asking us to find the length, uh, to find the elongation of the drill pipe when weight on bit is 0 or when it's off button and when the weight on bit is applied. For finding the elongation we need to find the force that is applying on the drill pipe the elongation of the drill pipe we need to find the force that is applying on the drill pipe you can just refer back to the first video or you can just follow the rest that i will just explain how to find f3 we have f1 f2 and f3 how we can find f3 directly if you want to calculate f3 uh, it's the same procedure that we followed for the first video but if you just want to write it for F3 it will be minus bottom hole pressure multiplied by the area of the drill color plus the omega of the drill color times to the length of the drill color plus the pressure that we have at the uh, end of the drill color and the beginning of the drill pipe if we go we start from the bottom of the well so the pressure it will be 0.052 multiply my width multiply by the length of the drill pipe 6000 minus the length of the drill color it will be length of the drill pipe multiply by the delta a which the area over here it will be the, the area of the drill color minus the area of the drill pipe so the bottom hole pressure, we can do the calculation, the mud weight is 12, the depth is 6000, the area of the drill color, we found the area of the drill color over here, 43.19, and plus the linear weight of the drill color, which is 147, multiplied by the length of the drill color, which is 462, plus the pressure at the end of the drill color or the beginning of the drill pipe which is 0.052 multiplied by the mud weight 12 the length of the drill pipe 5537.4 multiplied 
by the area of the drill color, which is 4.3 minus 19. Uh, minus the area of the drill pipe, which is 5.78. If you do the calculation, the F3, it will be 3,535,576 pound. Now, we found the F3, when the weight on is zero, we want to find it when we apply the weight on bit. We just have to differentiate the number that we have, which is find the difference between the value that we have over here when the weight on bit is zero, with the value is 35,563 minus the weight on bit, which is 50,000. Then we can find when the weight on bit is applied. Just take note that if you are doing the calculation one by one and at the first point you apply the weight on bit, that means F1 minus the weight on bit, you, apply, you found the weight on bit applied for the F1, you don't need to apply it for the F2 and F3 because you already applied it for the F1. So if you minus the weight on bit once, you don't need to apply, to apply it in all the points. The F1 applied already, so you don't need to apply it again and again. Then the weight on bit, the elongation, we have to find when the, it's off bottom or the weight on bit is zero and when the weight on bit is 50,000. What we need to know is that the row S is 60.5, 65.5, the length of the drill pipe is 5,537, the E, the is provided 25 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 the F is 35,576 when it's off bottom and the area is 5.77 the second procedure the scenario it will be the when weight on bit is applied and the when weight on bit applied the F is minus 14,424 and everything else will be the same we can find the elongation at these two scenarios now the third part is asking us to find the margin of the overpool for the steel grade of k55 how we have to do that is that we have to find the maximum load on the drill pipe which will be the yield strength that we have 55,000 because it's a K55 so it will be 55,000 multiply by the area of the drill pipe that we can find the area of the drill pipe this is the maximum load on the drill pipe and the weight of the drill string we have to find it will be dry weight of the drill pipe plus the dry weight of the drill column multiplied by the buoyancy factor the dry weight of the drill pipe is 6,000 uh, minus 462.6 multiplied by the linear weight of the drill pipe, which it was 20 pound per feet, plus the length of the drill color 462.6 multiplied by the linear weight of the drill color 147 multiplied by the buoyancy factor, which is 1 minus. 12 divided by 65.5 and we can find the weight of the drill string now we have the weight of the drill string we have the maximum load on the drill pipe so the maximum load on the drill pipe minus the weight of the drill string on the wet condition multiply by the safety factor that which is provided 90% we can find the margin of overpool Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any question, you can find me in my office. My office is in SK3, second floor. And uh, I will be happy if I can help you.